Welcome to Electro Online. Here's another very strange, interesting fact about nature, about the way things work in the universe and on the Earth, which again makes life possible on the Earth, is what we know as Stefan Boltzmann's law. What is that? Well, it turns out that Stefan and Boltzmann discovered that the amount of radiation coming from an object, including the radiation coming from the Earth, depends upon two things. First, it depends upon the surface area. The more surface area you have, the more radiation that will go out, of course. But the next one is important. It also depends on the temperature, but not just on the temperature, on the temperature to the fourth power. So, with any increase in temperature, the amount of radiation from the same surface area vastly increases as the temperature goes up. That's the key to this equation. Now you don't have to understand what it means. dQ dt is simply the amount of heat leaving the surface. E is the emissivity, meaning what the material is made out of. And sigma is simply a constant of nature. But this is the key portion of that equation. So it turns out, of course, we cannot use temperature in Celsius degrees in the equation. We have to convert it to Kelvin. But at 40 degrees Celsius, the energy radiated is 31% more than from the same surface at zero degrees Celsius. And that's of course assuming it's the same surface, the same rock, sand and all that. Of course, the kind of radiation that's going to be emitted from ice and snow and the amount of reflection, that's another story. We simply are talking about the amount of radiation coming from the same surface depending upon whether or not the surface is four degrees Celsius or the surface is zero degrees Celsius. So as the world warms up, during the daytime, more and more radiation will radiate into space because of this particular law. So what happens is, uh, this is what we call the black body radi radiation curve of a surface, piece of surface of the Earth at zero degrees Celsius, and as the temperature goes up, the amount of radiation coming from the same portion of the surface vastly increases due to that increased temperature, plus the curve moves to the left into the higher frequency range causing that enormous increase in energy being re-released into space. So again, there's a certain thermostat that the Earth has to keep itself more or less at the right temperature. If it really cools down a lot, then the amount of radiation going to space drops by quite a bit. If it gets really hot, the amount of radiation going to space increases quite a bit. So it kind of, it's like a thermostat where gets hot, more radiation goes to space, gets cold, less radiation goes to space, to kind of equalize and balance out the temperature on the Earth. And again, that's simply an aspect of nature. This is how nature works, this is how the universe works. The amount of radiation is simply dependent on temperature to the fourth power. So again, it keeps the temperature, again, right where we'd like it to be, as much as possible, around 15 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's quite a thing here. Notice again, our life on Earth is controlled by all kinds of aspects, and in particular, the Stefan Boltzmann law that keeps the Earth at the right temperature for us to be able to live, and keeps those extremes down as much as possible. It gets cold, not as much heat escapes. It gets hot, a lot more heat escapes. It's almost like somebody sitting there changed in thermostats as we need it. Hmm, quite an aspect of our universe.